A warm greeting, today is Sunday, July 23, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, I will be providing an update related to Invest 95, which maintains a moderate probability of becoming a tropical depression over the next two to three days as it approaches the Caribbean region. As we can see in this infrared satellite animation, Invest 95 is generating strong thunderstorms near the longitude 48 degrees west. Over the last 24 hours, we have observed that it has taken a westward trajectory with a southwest component. Currently, its circulation is at a relatively low latitude, near latitude 10.5. This southwestward movement is in response to the high pressure we mentioned yesterday, which is strengthening in the Atlantic. Invest 95 is in an area with higher humidity, and ocean surface temperatures are slightly warmer compared to previous days. It continues to have the possibility of becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm just before reaching the Caribbean region. However, the development probabilities have been decreasing because, upon reaching the Caribbean region and from Wednesday onwards, the conditions will not be favorable for further strengthening or organization. The next 36 hours will be crucial to determine how strong this disturbance will become in the Lesser Antilles. Regardless of whether it becomes a tropical depression before reaching the Caribbean or not, Heavy showers are expected that may cause some flooding in the islands of the Lesser Antilles, especially from Dominica to Trinidad and Tobago. Most of the intensity models keep it as a tropical wave or tropical depression when it reaches the Lesser Antilles. At least, this is good news because, in the worst-case scenario, it would arrive as a weak tropical storm. The highest probabilities are that it will arrive as a tropical wave or tropical depression during Tuesday. Regarding its trajectory, there is a considerable consensus with a path passing quite south, close to or over the island of Barbados, and then between Santa Lucia, San Vicente, and Granada during the afternoon hours of Tuesday. Let's take a closer look at the visible satellite image. You can see that Invest 95 has a well-defined rotation, which is quite south of the most active area of thunderstorms and precipitation. It is here where it could briefly develop into a tropical depression as it moves westward. Although we have a fairly defined rotation, it still does not meet the minimum requirements to be classified as a tropical depression. At the moment, we do not see the development of a dense area of thunderstorms near its center, and until it does, it would not be classified as a tropical depression. Let's look at the Doppler radar projection according to the GFS model. You can see how the moisture and showers associated with Invest 95 approach the Lesser Antilles in the morning hours of Tuesday, impacting this area from Martinique to Grenada with heavy showers. The rain is expected to affect this region throughout Tuesday and into the early hours of Wednesday. Later, the moisture and rains associated with Invest 95 will move south towards Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, leading to increased humidity and rain between Wednesday and Thursday for these areas. The rainfall accumulation should not be very significant for these regions. For the Lesser Antilles, these showers may bring windy conditions. For example, between Dominica and San Vicente and the Grenadines, gusts of wind between 30 to 35 miles per hour are expected during Tuesday. In terms of rainfall accumulations and the potential for flooding, we expect a significant amount of rain for the Lesser Antilles, with between 2 to 5 inches of rainfall over a 36-hour period. This is equivalent to 50 to 100 millimeters that could fall in this area. Please exercise caution as there is a risk of flooding during Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. After Invest 95 passes through the Caribbean region, we will continue to monitor the tropical Atlantic zone because a Kelvin wave will be moving through the area by the end of July and the beginning of August. This Kelvin wave is stronger and more amplified than the one we had last week, and it may create better conditions for cyclonic development over the next 7 to 10 days. In general, we will have a more humid atmosphere between the Caribbean and Africa, and we may see some tropical waves that could have some potential for cyclonic development towards the end of this week. Some models are already responding to these improved conditions. For example, the ensemble of the European model for the end of this week gives a 55% chance of the development of a tropical depression just east of the Caribbean, and the GFS model develops a tropical depression or tropical storm for the next weekend midway between the Caribbean and Africa. Remember that this is a long-term forecast, so there's no need to worry at the moment, but be aware that for midweek, we will begin monitoring some tropical waves coming from Africa. Well, that would be all for today's update. To our followers in the Lesser Antilles region, Prepare for a rainy Tuesday and Wednesday with the potential for some flash flooding. For Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, you can stay calm as significant effects are not expected as Invest 95 moves south of our region. I wish everyone an excellent Sunday.